a lot of you have been waiting for that bundt cake, that oat banana apple. I you know. just did it. Stay tuned. It's not all good, but it smelled good and it's delicious. So stay tuned to see what didn't work. <laughs> It probably would be a good thing to show you my new Amazon purchase. I haven't been purchasing things lately because I've been trying to purge, <laughs> but I'm trying to set myself up for a simple summer of dressing. And I have a lot, I've purged a lot and had to just get this. I saw this on Amazon and it's a linen shirt that has a simple button down regular notched collar i dragged out a lot of my turquoise jewelry and this is this is the fetish jewelry that i have the turquoise fetish and those are little birds and animals and um i just love this a lot of this we bought moosey and i uh, for, i've had all this for years in new mexico arizona and sometimes in nevada i just couldn't wait for summer because summer's the best time when i can drag out all my my turquoise jewelry but let me show you this and i'll back up a little bit this has the nicest fitting it was only $21.95. It has a slight weave. I don't know whether you can see it here, but it's it's just so soft, and I know I will wear it all summer. Now, I did the front tuck here in my jeans, and the tail is very nice. I ironed it this morning, and it's lovely. Beautiful cuffs that you can roll up. And by the way, this is one of my turquoise belts that I've had probably for... 30 or 40 years. Believe it or not, this still fits. I'm on the last notch, but it fits. And I like the idea of the tuck with the shirt. I would, I will leave the particulars of where I bought this on Amazon. It just came yesterday. And by the way, it was sitting in the driveway in the soaking rain. <laughs> but So that's why I had to iron it this morning. So I will be on my way now into the kitchen, and I just can't wait. Moosey is outside. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I dragged the cushions out of the back of the van again, and the birdies are out. And I think we're through with rain for maybe another 10 days. I hope. So, come on. Let's go to the kitchen. Well, I am dying to make this bunt cake. It's an oat cake, it's healthy, and I chose this recipe because I don't want to spend a lot of time cooking or baking where there's tons of ingredients. I prefer the easy way, the delicious way, and the healthy way. So let's see how we can do with this. Now, here are the ingredients. Now, over there in my little blender, I don't have a big one, but it managed to grind up the oats. I did put one cup of oats. Now, I don't know whether that's going to be enough to fill up all these little uh, bunts, individual bunts. I just love this pan. The recipe called for a regular bunt cake, but it looked like the small one, a six inch or something, and I don't have one of those. Mine's too big. So, I'm testing it out in here. So, we got the oats to start with. Now, it said you could use two apples and you mush them up also in a blender, but you know what? I'm going for the applesauce and it is unsweetened. So I am putting in about a tablespoon and a half of my stevia sweetener. Since I'm a diabetic, I try not to use sugar in my baking. I um, also, it calls for one banana mushed up and I think I'll do that by hand. I'm sure I can do it because it's a pretty ripe banana. So those are the main ingredients. And then you throw in some slivered almonds, which I have, oh, I don't know, two tablespoons full. I love the nuts and raisins. This should be enough. A little bit of cinnamon, a dash of cinnamon, a dash of vanilla. And I think it calls for half a teaspoon of baking powder just to make sure it's going to rise. That's it. I don't think I forgot anything. So I'm gonna start, do this quickly, and when it's finished baking, I will have Moosey test it. He's outside. 
I just preheated the oven and I have it at 355, 360, 365, somewhere in there, mainly because I'm not sure how to change it from the bunt cake to these. Probably the same baking um, temperature, but maybe a little less time or more. Who knows? I'm just going to keep checking it. I have my little pastry brush. This might even be one of my painting brushes. I, I think it probably is. But I'm just swishing around all the olive oil in here, especially on that little thingy in the middle of the donut. And this is olive oil. You know, you can use butter, whatever you want, but make sure that the sides and everything are all um, very well glistened. I could also put flour in here too, but I don't think I'll do that. Now here's my oats and they're pretty well mushed up, almost like flour. So there's our oats. That's it. We might only get two little buns, who knows? What do you think two large apples would come down to if you mush them up? Two cups or one cup of applesauce? I think about one cup and that's what I'm going to put in. Whoa. Well, it's an overflowing cup. So I'm pouring that in. I'm gonna mix this, see how our consistency is going. And remember I said it was unsweetened applesauce. So in here, I've already measured my stevia. One and a half tablespoons of the stevia. And in it goes. No, I should have put an apron on. I think I'll go get one. Okay, I'm gonna add the baking powder now before I forget, and that's half a teaspoon, and I'll sort of wing it here. That's half a teaspoon. Now I found two recipes. One said that you could use a banana or two bananas, and if you didn't use the banana, you could put in a cup of yogurt or three quarters of a cup of yogurt. So I'm gonna see how the consistency goes with one mashed banana. You want the consistency to be right, <laughs> especially since I'm doing this for the first time. And I think that applesauce does make it, um, this looks right, it really does. It doesn't look bad at all now that I'm stirring it all together. I'm going to put the almonds in now. I do have a big box of raisins, but I do want to finish this up. And let's go with the raisins. Now you could also use some um, dried cranberry, a little bit of vanilla, maybe that'll help. Oh, and I need a little bit of lemon juice. Now, just uh, if I can do half a teaspoon of vanilla, just a couple of shakes of cinnamon. All right, let me get my lemon juice out because that will make it a little wetter too. Now, hasn't this been easy? Not a lot of ingredients. I think that's it. That might be the juice of a little bit, half a lemon maybe, I don't know. You know, the fun of cooking is kind of learning to uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I never did get the apron on, did I? Normal cake batter and I think we're ready to go. Better late than never with the apron. I made a bunch of these, oh gosh, seven or eight years ago, Irish aprons for a bunch of the guys and grandsons in our family. All the guys in our family, including all our sons are great cooks. So I made these and this says of something about Ireland. It was reminiscent of a trip we all took to Ireland one year. Okay, here we go. I hope I didn't forget anything. Please tell me I didn't. Sweetener, I didn't put the yogurt in because I put the banana, it seemed moist, the lemon juice, the baking powder, raisins, almonds, banana, vanilla, eggs. Oh my goodness, two eggs. Oh, good thing I look at this once in a while. Oh, go into the fridge. Uh, sometimes I think I'm I think I'm a real smarty pants by not checking the recipes and I've made some pretty bad boo-boos almost did it again 
two eggs. And this time I'm gonna uh, use some of the beautiful eggs that Margie sent down from her chicken coop. These beautiful colored eggs. Can you see them? Can so pretty. So I'm gonna use two eggs. That would have been another disaster, I know. And I've had some of those too. Okay, now here we go. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna whip those eggs in. Now that gives me a much more moist type of a consistency that I was looking for. Oh, what a save, huh, ladies? I'm going to start filling these up. Maybe, they say two thirds of the way. Let's see how that goes. The batter is lasting. It looks like we might get enough. It tastes so good, uncooked. Mm, I can taste the applesauce. The almonds give it a great touch. I just filled it up and it looks like I made six. Now one of them is a little tiny over here, but that's okay. I think we're gonna get some good sized ones. Let's hope that they bake up. Now I'm ready to put it into the oven. I'm sure the oven is ready by now. It's about 365, I think I'll turn it down to 360 and I'm going to watch it. I'm thinking these might go 30 minutes, maybe a little more, but I'm gonna keep sticking something in just to see how they go. And then maybe, um, it's, it's early, Moosey might be able to get a late morning bunt. I think I'm gonna set it for, I don't think they'll bake in 20 minutes, but I'll set it for about 25 minutes and then keep checking it from there. And I think I'll go out, take a cup of coffee and join Moosey for a while. Well, they looked pretty well cooked, maybe a little too moist. I'm gonna put them back in. However, I tried to loosen them up and they're not coming. I never should have put olive oil in. I should have used butter or my spray and then flour because they could be gorgeous and no way, I can't get them out. We might have to eat these in pieces. Well, here are four out of six that are holding together fairly well. <laughs> but they're delicious, but just didn't come out of the pan the way we wanted. But my Fostoria Square pedestal does look beautiful, doesn't it? Another fail for Nanny, but <laughs> maybe I could just pop it all together and make a put a bread pudding or something. <laughs> well, we'll go back to my window here in the living room. Well, I have my vest on, it's a little cool. However, the sun is really out there. And I was just ready to go out and sit in the sun with Moosey, put my hat on. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna just get everything out of the pan. It's gonna come out in chunks, not in formed buns, mini buns, because they stuck. Consistency of everything is wonderful. Now, what would you do if you were me and everything baked well, tastes good, looks good, not burned, but you just couldn't get it out of the bunt pans? What would you do? Would you throw it away in the garbage? I'm not. It's edible, it's delicious, but it just doesn't look pretty. So I'm gonna let Moosey taste it without a sauce and see what he says. This is just two of them in here. And as you can see, they're in pretty big chunks. And quite frankly, it has a good taste. It did not burn. It looks yummy. You can see the almonds and the raisins. It's delicious. I taste applesauce mostly. I feel the crunch of the almonds. Mm, it's moist. It's delicious, but it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> oh, I just got a taste of something else. Maybe that was the banana. It's so tasty. If any of you have the nerve to try this, really butter up or whatever you do. Maybe it was the pan. It looked awfully silvery. Maybe it was too cheap a pan. If it had a better coating on it, it would have been better. Maybe I should have done it in the bun pan. I don't know. And another time I'll try it. Only this time I will use Pam spray and probably flour, something very strong. 
Now, I have a recipe from my mother's recipe box for a hard sauce of some kind, easy to make. And I'll look up my mother's bread pudding recipe and I'm going to just put this in a bowl and um, wait till it all cools. And then I will put some hard sauce on it and we'll have it for dessert. And we'll enjoy the you taste. Know, I do show you my fails. Everything can't be perfect. We can't be perfect. Our cooking can't be perfect. So I I'm going to show you this just to, to show you that stuff happens. <laughs> and um, I'll make it again because it's so tasty and it did not take a long time. And it's healthy. So we're going to eat it anyway. So that's that. Do I look official? <laughs> I think so. You look very official today. Mm. What do you think? I can taste the applesauce. Yeah. Nuts and raisins. Yep. I don't taste any oats, but... Well, I think the oats are just basically the flour, and it's more healthy, right? Very healthy. Yeah. I feel healthy. You look healthy. I love your new chapeau. Well, it's not new. It's one of my old ones. It happens to be big enough for your head. It does look feminine on me, doesn't it? Not at all. No, I love it. Very Panama-ish. And I love the scarf. We can't find your other scarf. Thank God it's a change for today. And I love this. Now, this was Mikey's jacket when he was working at the Nevada test site. Oh, no, he has one just like it. Oh, he got this for you? Got my name on it. One said you are my official taster. You've had it how long? What does it say? 30 years. I'll bet, yeah. Nevada. Um, threat Reduction Agency, Defense. Yeah. Defense Threat Reduction Agency, United States of <clears throat> America. That's what Mikey was working on during college. Yeah. He had it at the Nevada test site. That was a great summer job. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even want to tell you what he was doing. Yep. We can't. Secret. <laughs> Secret. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying this. This is a very colorful section of my garden here. And St. Francis is still intact. All my new petunias, my birthday present to you, are doing well. The rain has been helping them. Any sign of anything in the irises? Um, yes. I mean, the dahlias or the irises? No, oh, no. No, I, I'll check. I was just going to say, look at my lily. I have three of those Asian lilies getting taller and taller. I'd love to show this garden. The beautiful mums, the colors are gorgeous. Now, look over here at these. I really lucked out when I bought these. And these are mums. Giant mums, aren't they, Moose? Love them. I think our irises are going to be popping soon. They're starting to grow large. And when they start forming into these multiple stalks joined together at the bottom, that's where, this is where you start noticing. And when it starts swelling on the side, it means a flower the is thing that happened while I was cooking and I wasn't aware of it, but one shoulder was kind of droopy. Remember this happened to me once before. Since I had stopped wearing bras, I couldn't hook my shoulder pads in. And as you know, I think one of the uh, best ideas for pro-aging, for a woman to look better, is to put shoulder pads in. We all start that droopy shoulder look like everything else droops. And I like the shoulder pads with certain things, especially with this blouse. It gave me kind of a, a crispy look. Well... I did put a bra on for this because it was, I thought maybe we'd see through the linen, but I didn't hook it. And one of my shoulder pads fell down to help fill in my boobie, which I don't want anyway, but <laughs> I didn't, I anchor it and look at that. I mean, really. <laughs> Do you see, if you go back, you'll notice that one kind of was a droopy shoulder and the other one was nice and crisp looking. What are you going to do? I still do my massaging and my lymphatic drains in the daytime. And that's one thing that I am positive of that works. Besides the teeth whitening hack that I showed you, someone mentioned that you really shouldn't do it any every day. And I think I had read that because it's not good for your gums if it's, if it's uh, 
if your gums are sensitive. So I'm not going to do it every day, maybe every couple of days. I did it this morning and I'm still very pleased with that hydrogen peroxide, baking soda and toothpaste rub. We do have a wedding coming up. I know I told you this. Our grandson, darling grandson, Riley, love him to pieces. He is getting married to his longtime sweetheart. Oh, Liz. Love Liz. Oh, they've been together about nine years and they're getting married a week from Friday. And I can't wait to go to the wedding and see these two. A lot of the family will be there. A couple people won't. Molly has her cesarean section set for that day. And the doctor wouldn't change it. So that means Dubby also will be taking care of the two little girls while Molly is in the hospital. And uh, Kevin, of course, will be with Molly. So, oh, I left my, <laughs> I looked a little slanty shouldered here. So, um, and I don't know whether Billy will be able to come down from Idaho. So the whole family won't be here. Hopefully everybody will be. Um, Cindy has been back in uh, North Carolina. Her mother's been quite ill. And um, so Matt's been doing triple duty with the boys and, and the business and his job and everything. So, um, I don't know whether Cindy will be there, but I think everybody else will be there. Debbie sent me a little quote and it said that 90% of people are happier when they have an event or something, a vacation or something, mini vacation, something fun to look forward to. And, and I think that's true. What do you think? We also have little Lizzie on, um, May 5th, which is Cinco de Mayo, by the way. And uh, Lizzie's making her first communion. So we'll be going down there and spending the weekend with Mikey and Sabrina and the three kids too. So I'm a happy girl, even though my, my oat cake did not come out too well. It's going to be delicious and we're going to enjoy it. Say lovey. I'm so glad I told you about our 479 videos because a lot of you are binging on them and a couple of our uh, videos are going mini viral and that makes me happy because we've gotten a lot of new subscribers and I looked at my um, analytics the other day and I noticed that um, it changes. YouTube says that if half of your viewers, people who watch you fairly regularly are subscribed. The other half are not subscribed. However, sometimes the, um, the count of, of, uh, viewers is down here and the subscribers is here. But right now my unsubscribed ladies or gents, those of you are way up here, 60 something percent. And my subscribers who view regularly are here. Why don't you subscribe to me? <laughs> Doesn't cost anything. And this way you'll get to see us regularly in case you forget about us and it disappears. Sometimes that's happened to me. I've watched someone and I liked them, but I didn't subscribe. And then I couldn't find them again for a while. So subscribing is is doesn't cost you anything. No obligations, just that you you know where we are. And uh, you can look forward to, usually we put up about two a week. And sometimes I sneak in another one there if I have something to say. So thank you so much for watching, my friends. Lucy and I do appreciate you so much. And I love your comments. A lot of you have taught me so many things too. And when you give me suggestions, I do try and make it a point to check it out. And some of the things I am doing regularly that you told me about are changing something here or there that I've not been doing right. Love you all. See you soon. And God bless us all.